Greetings, gaming enthusiasts. Today we're delving into the intricacies of Remnant 2, a 2023 game powered by Unreal Engine 5, and these are the minimum system requirements of the game. So let's see how much performance we can achieve after making some graphical tweaks. Let's get started. First things first. Let me clarify that I'm going to run this game with my dedicated graphics card, because the game kept crashing every time I tried to launch it with my integrated graphics. I have set the screen resolution to 1080p and the upscaler to AMD FSR with its mode set to ultra performance, and all other graphical elements is set to potato preset. While the game is still playable at these settings, I'm getting 25 to 30 FPS, However, it stutters consistently. But hey, we're not stopping there. Let's take a deeper dive into the game's configuration file. The configuration file of this game is nestled in your hidden app data folder. Local. Remnant 2. Saved config. And then Windows folder. Open this file with Notepad or Notepad++. This key right here controls the resolution scaler of the game. And the unfortunate thing is that the game does not allow custom resolution scaler values. However, the good news is that the game does allow for custom screen resolutions. I'm going with the provided 720p resolution. Now there is nothing more you can do except changing or creating resolutions. Save the changes and make sure to set the file attributes to read only to make this tweak work. At the 720p resolution, I'm getting even better performance. But don't go anywhere, because I have something more for you. Now, we are going to use some mods to boost the game's performance. Check the description for download links. First up, install Allow Mods by extracting everything into your game directory. Remnant 2 Binaries Win64 Now the second mod is essentially a graphics editor for the game, allowing you to disable numerous graphical effects and customize settings. Extract the file, navigate to the folder, and launch the application. Check all settings. Go to Advanced Graphics, check them again, and now adjust the slider to increase or decrease the values of the provided options. Be cautious with the streaming boost as it accelerates game texture loading but might lead to performance issues on less powerful CPUs. Click on Generate Mod. Revisit this folder, and you'll discover a custom pack file. Simply copy and paste this file into your game directory. Remnant 2 folder. Content. Packs folder. If you don't have a mod folder, create one and paste it there. And now you should be good to go. With these tweaks and mods, your gaming experience should reach new heights, offering even smoother gameplay and potentially doubling your FPS. Don't forget to show your support, like, subscribe, and share this video with your low-spec comrades. Ensuring everyone gets a chance to relish Remnant 2 on their less powerful machines until next time, happy gaming and tweaking. Is that the... The World Stone. Yes.
or part of it anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time, the damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Worked to do what, exactly? Oh, shit! <laughs> 